Hey everyone, this is Brian from fitnessblender.com and today I have a 15 minute board easily core workout for you. This workout features 15 exercises, 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off. We're gonna go through this one time. The only equipment needed today is just your optional mat and this workout is gonna be perfect for that additional add-on to other workouts or on those days where maybe you have active rest or you're just doing cardio. So if you guys are ready, let's get started with this workout. All right, team, let's get started today. So we're gonna begin our workout today with a high plank with an alternating knee drive. All right, so we're gonna get into our push-up position and we're gonna be bringing our knee towards our chest, alternating the leg here. You wanna do this slow and controlled. All right, push-up position, drive the knee in, right back out, and then switch sides. Nice, tight core. Good. If you're struggling with this one, it's okay just to hold the plank from that push-up position. Good work, keep it up. Good control, keep that back flat. Brace your core. Nice job, nice job. Good, about five seconds here. And time, nice job. All right, next up, we're gonna go into our standard plank. So we're gonna go down to our elbows, just holding that plank. All right, five seconds. All right, let's go. Into your plank, hips down, tight core. Head looking down at the floor. Squeeze your glutes and breathe. Now, this plank is hard for you. You can go to your knees, hold your plank from here, or you can do it from that modified push-up position also. All right, guys, let's keep it going. Nice deep breath, squeeze your glutes, brace your core. Good job. Five seconds. Time, nice job. All right, another 15 second break here. Next up, we're gonna go into our side plank, but we're gonna be adding a dip to that. All right, left side here I'm starting with. Two, one. All right, we're gonna drive our hip up. Coming down, tap the floor, right back up. Good control here. If you have to modify this one, you can drop your bottom leg, still drive your hip up, squeeze your glute, and then back down. All right, so that's a modification here. If you have to do that on the side plank. Good job, keep it up. Great job. About 15 seconds here. That's it. Two. One time, nice job. All right, next up, we're gonna stay on that left side, holding the side plank now, but in an isometric position. So we're not gonna move. All right, five seconds. All right, let's go. Drive your hips up and hold. Nice tight core here. Getting the planks out the way early today. Good. Same thing with the modification here, if you have to. Bottom knee, top leg up, bridge your hip up, and you can hold right from this position here for that modification. Let's keep it going here. About 15 seconds. Good. Five seconds. And time, nice job. All right, we're gonna switch to the other side. Same thing, we're gonna have our hip up with the dip and then our hip up hold. All right, five seconds. All right, let's go, bridge up that hip. Come down, tap the floor. 
Good job. Keep working. Good. And don't forget that modification, dropping that bottom knee, bridge your hip up and back down to the floor. That could be the modification for this exercise. Keep it working. Good. About 15 seconds. Nice job. Keep working. Two, one, and time. Nice job. All right, now we're going to do the side plank hold here on that same side. All right, team, about 10 seconds. All right, let's go. Bridge up those hips and we're holding. Nice tight core. It's like your waist is being suspended from the ceiling. Good work. That's it, hold it, nice tight core. Don't forget your modification, drop that bottom knee. Bridge your hip up and hold. That's your modification there. Let's keep working. 15 seconds. Good job. Five seconds. And time, nice job. All right, next up, we're going to our seated twist. All right, so this one here, we're gonna lean back just a little bit and rotate side to side, all right? Here we go, two, one, and go. Leaning back and rotate with control. You wanna add a little challenge here, you can lift up your feet and continue that movement. Otherwise, it's not necessary. Good job, guys, good control. Make sure you're leaning back. Nice work. Great job. Good, about 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Keep working, keep working. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job. All right, for our next one, we're gonna do a half get up. Now this is gonna be done obviously with no equipment here. So my left leg is up, my left hand is up. What I'm gonna do here is roll over to this hand, pushing myself straight up, reaching for the ceiling. Just like this here with control, rolling myself back down. Good control here. Good job. Keep it up. When you're going back here, you don't wanna rush back, take your time. Rolling up to that hand. Looking towards the ceiling, my eyes don't move from my hand. Good. Keep working. 15 seconds. That's it. Five seconds. Two, one, and time, nice job. All right, we're gonna switch sides. Same thing on the opposite side here. Right knees up, right hands up. Two, one, all right, let's go. Rolling across, reaching up, coming to that hand, and right back down to where you started. Good control here. Again, keep your eyes on your hand or looking at the ceiling the whole time. Good job, keep it up. Good. About 15 seconds. That's it. Good control. Five seconds. And time, nice job. All right, next up, we're gonna do our seated stability holds. All right, I, did, I used this one in another video. One of my favorite exercises when we play football, we use this for a core warm up. So we're gonna take a seat on the floor, lifting our legs and our hands up, and we're holding. 
just like this for 45 seconds. Now, if you have to, you can rest your heels on the floor and hold from this direction here, lift up and hold just like this. All right, so with, if you have to modify, it's okay to drop your heels on the floor. All right, guys, let's keep it going. Arms out wide, legs are up. Nice tight core here, you should feel this in those lower abs. Good, 15 seconds. Great job, guys, keep working. Five seconds. Two, one, and time. Nice job, nice job. All right, next up, we have our plank toe touches. So we're gonna get into our push-up position again. And this time we're gonna be tapping our toes so opposite hand and opposite foot. All right, let's go push up, reaching down. My left is going to my right. My right's going to my left. Right back to that same position. Good job, guys, good control. Good pace, take your time. Focusing on our core here. Nice job. Excellent work, team. Keep it up. If you're struggling here, just go ahead and hold that high plank. Good work. Five seconds. All right, and time. Nice job. All right, next up is our alternating V-ups. We're on our back here. Again, opposite foot to opposite hand. Reaching back here, so my left is going to my right. All right, let's go. Coming up, and then switching sides. Now, if you're struggling with this one here, you can go to your knee instead. So kind of lifting the knee up, and then switching sides. So that'd be a good modification here if you're having a hard time with the alternating V-ups. Good job, keep working. Good. That's it, about 15 seconds. Good, five seconds. And time, nice job. All right, we're gonna stay in the same position. We're down to our last three, we're gonna do our leg lifts next. Great job so far, guys, let's keep it going. Almost finished here, two. One, all right, let's go. Legs are straight. We're lifting and lowering. Now, your hand position plays a good part in this here. If your back is rounding out, you can stuff those underneath your butt there. Or the other option is drop your legs until your legs start to uh, push through here and bring them right back in. So as you're roll, lowering your legs down, you feel your back rounding, pull your knees back in. You can use that modification too. Good guys, keep it up. That's it. Good work here. Five seconds. Two, one, and time. Nice job. All right, next up, we're going to do our oblique heel taps. So we're going to get into a little bit of a crunch here, and our goal is to reach down and tap each side of our heel, alternating sides here. Here we go. Two, one. All right, let's go crunching and we're tapping each part of the heel, right and left. Good, keep working. Good, tuck that chin, look down. You wanna form a crunch with your abs here. That's it. Good work. Good, we have about 15 seconds. Nice job. Five seconds. Two, one, and time. Nice job, guys, nice job. All right, our last one is gonna be our butterfly sit up. So we're gonna bring our heels and the bottom of our feet together, and we're just doing a basic sit up, reaching through our legs. Here we go, two, one. All right, let's go, coming up, reaching through 
and then right back down. If this is too hard for you, you can go back to a standard sit-up, or you can do a crunch instead. All right, so whichever one works for you, just keep working. Your goal here is try not to swing your arms and lift yourself up. Last round, guys, is work hard here, push through. Good. 15 seconds. Good. Keep working. Five seconds. Two, one, and time. Nice job. Nice job. All right, team. Workout complete. Hope you enjoyed this quick 15-minute core workout today. I'm looking forward to seeing the comments below. Remember, guys, you can use this particular workout for an add-on to any one of the other workouts or those days when you have an active rest. All right, guys, I'll see you guys soon.